at public demonstrations people are often surprised to see the amount of wooden formers that can be used when using hot sheet metal. I've had this former now for about five maybe six years um, I haven't had to reset it, remake it and it's withstood hard work uh, throughout that time. Just about every van brace I've made, most of the lanes and so on, have been done on this former. Usually it's in its own stand but just for the minute because I couldn't get the camera near it I've just set up on the swage block so it'll bounce about a fair bit but normally it's a lot more secure. I just wanted to show how hardy these can be even when you're using hot materials. So we're going to take a quick look at how well the wooden former lasts when using a piece of uh, steel, this will be hot shortly, uh, and will be the form of a van brace that I'm making um, just at the moment. So let's see just how well this can do. Right, well guess who forgot to press record uh, when he was doing this piece of work, but luckily I come with two arms. So what I'll do is I'll get on and show the other uh, half of the van brace being started off here inside this so we can show that wooden formers work just fine and I'll try and remember to uh, press record this time. So the material is warm, we'll give it a few taps to get it moving. Push it down into the curve. Obviously with wooden formers you get a lot of smoke. So you need to make sure that you're in a well-ventilated environment. I'm not entirely sure if smoke or provoke is uh, hazardous to your health, but it's not particularly pleasant. Now a bit later I will be doing a uh, video on how I make the van braces and what technique I use there um, but just for now we're looking obviously at the wooden form and you can see no real damage there being done bit of charring luckily this is just a piece of mild steel if it was a, a decent bit of uh, high carbon you would need to get this back in the fire now uh, and get it glowing again I um, don't like to work it at this temperature, but as a bit of mild, it's still warm enough to just about get some smoke moving. So uh, we'll carry on for the moment. Now the hammer scale, you can see. Just starting to come along there and there's a lot more down here on the swage I like to try and keep and stick it in a small tin there's not much here to be honest I'm just demonstrating because this makes a good uh, base for an abrasion abrasive uh, cleaning paste later if you're doing living history or something like that and you want to show one of the techniques that they used to get their metal work clean but the point of the video is just to have a look at this it's warm to the touch obviously a bit of charring and that does smooth out so it doesn't matter if you mess things up as you're making it it will eventually form a, uh, a nice dip there and take on the shape of the way that you tend to work and it's completely replaceable you can see from this one any old piece of hardwood will do um, just make your, your initial shape and the wood withstands abuse of this one now for about five years easily being used on a monthly basis if not weekly sometimes daily so uh, thumbs up for wooden formers uh, with hot metal work.